Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it's it's taken a while. Um, obviously, it's been a pretty long wait now, and uh, you know we're pretty excited about round one, and now it's finally here. And just walking across and having a look at the oval, it's uh, it's getting closer and closer and closer, and um, pretty excited about it all. It's been a big build up from outside. What's it been like for players to build up to get to this point? Yeah, look. It's pretty much all we focused on was, was round one at the start. We didn't really talk too much at all about the showdown and, and now, probably the last week or so, we've, we're starting to talk about it a little more. We know it's going to be a, a, a big build-up and we'll speak about that to our uh, you know, younger players and guys that probably haven't you know, played too many showdowns. And, uh, but look, it's just exciting. You've got to embrace it. It's, it's almost like a final series. You, just, you love being a part of it and uh, we're excited to be excited to, to get out there on the weekend. Sorry, Trav. Um, is this bigger than any other showdown that you've played in recently, considering Adelaide Oval, or is it just another game? Oh, look, I think it's, it, it adds a little bit more that it's going to be the first game at Adelaide Oval. Uh, but look, the, the showdowns are all ma always massive, and uh, but I think it just adds a little bit more, uh, a bit more taste to it, and um, it's, it's going to be another another big one and uh, an exciting one. How are you feeling? It must be a bit bittersweet that you're not going to be. Out there on the boat. Yeah, a bit bittersweet, but uh, in saying that, I'm really excited for the boys. I saw the excitement on their faces, um, you know, the last couple of weeks, and they've been able to train out here on the Oval. And um, as Travis said, look, it's been a, a long time coming, but um, it's going to be well worth the wait. I think when we come out here on uh, the weekend and, and play our first game against each other. How are you spending your time? Are you in the coaches' box? And what, have, what have you been doing when you can't have the sleep? Yeah, plenty of rehab at the club during the week and um, my usual training and then on the weekends, uh, last weekend I sat in the box with um, the coaches and um, yeah, did some observing in there for them, so um, I guess I'll continue that until my rehab picks up where that becomes more of a priority. Do you have a taste for that? Um, at the moment it's uh, it's a bit different sitting in the box, certainly you've got a bit more empathy for the coaches as to what uh, frustrations they go through and what you can see from up there and uh, if anything I hope uh, when I come back to playing it um, gives me a better understanding from that point of view when they when they send a message out as to, to, um, to, you know, to probably have a bit more urgency in, in getting that in place because you sense the frustration the coaches have, have been through or what they're seeing. What sort of stuff did you pick up out of that uh, game that you won, particularly the um, bit of a fade out at the end of it? Oh, look, in the weekend, um, I think we, uh, we certainly weren't clean with the footy, which, uh, which cost us a number of times. We had some costly turnovers. Um, contested possession was, uh, was well down for us as well. Um, our tackle count was down. So there's some areas that we really pride ourselves on that we uh, generally are pretty good at. And um, obviously in the weekend, particularly in the last quarter, slipped away for us. So um, we'll have our review later on this afternoon. But I know certainly the boys were dis very disappointed after the game with uh, the showing in the last quarter. It's... Um, um, you know, not the way that we want to finish off games, so there'll certainly be um, you know, a, a big emphasis put on the boys to have a strong response this week. Has there been, been enough time going past to sort of establish why that might have been? Uh, well, we've, we've purely looked at the stats since the game and obviously players have had chats to each other and as I mentioned, the contested possession tackle count um, was well against us in the last quarter, which um, is a fair indication if you're not winning, winning the ball around the contest, it's, you know, find it pretty hard to, to move forward. So I think the contested possession count there was minus 16 or 17, which is, uh, you know, even those numbers for a whole game is, um, is, you know, uh, is pretty bad. So we've just got to make sure that we can uh, work out why that's happened in the last quarter and, um, and work out some means of addressing that pretty quick. Nathan, one of the issues from that game is the perceived lack of the protection from Patrick Dangerfield by the umpires. He argues that perhaps he needs his teammates to help him out a bit more next week. What's going to happen there? Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, the way that Paddy plays, he's going to get some attention. We've got a number, number of other guys in our team too that will see some attention throughout uh, the year coming up. So um, what we'd like to think as teammates is that uh, we support those guys as best we can. Um, they've too got a responsibility to support themselves out there and ask for help from their teammates and put themselves in positions where teammates are able to help them out. Um, so regardless of whether it's Paddy, whether it's Sloney, whether it's Tomo or whether it's um, Richie Douglas, I'm sure there'll be guys that um, you know, have different skills that they'll help um, you know, Paddy develop his skill set that he's got to make sure that um, you know, when he's run with that he has better skills to deal with that. It was really hard to pick up on, on game day some of the, you know, the, the smaller things that, that happened throughout the game, but upon watching the replay you see some things that uh, happened and uh, yeah, he's, um, there's certainly a few that went against him which uh, you would have thought um, other weeks you know, would have been paid, but I guess there's those decisions every week so you've just got to um, hope that if it happens again that there's um, 
Yeah. Now it's turned around. BB, Richard Douglas, do you think you'll uh, put his hand up for play? Oh, Dougie's uh, an interesting one. This week he's um, he's pretty keen, but he's just got to wait and see later in the week. The the last call is going to come from the specialist as to whether um, he sees him fit and able to play. So I guess he's got a number of boxes to tick throughout the week, but one of those will certainly be training in the main session and getting through that, and then um, touching base with the specialist to see um, where, where he thinks he's at. So is he confident that he can actually prove his fitness on the track, but then he's got to get that signed off on board? Well, if, if he gets through the main session, I guess he will, uh, and he has that, that confidence that he can play um, play with his injury, and uh, then and that's up to Dougie. I mean, he's just got to tick those boxes, as I said, but um, he's keen at the moment to to do all that he can to get off the game, obviously. Obviously, he's well ahead of schedule. Yeah, he's going He's going pretty well at the moment, and, um, yeah, he's just got to tick those boxes later in the week. How much of a boost would it be to get him back into the midfield? It certainly would help us. Um, you know, on the weekend, we had a, you know, some young guys running through the midfield, which I thought were, were really impressive and held their own, you know, Kerridge and um, Grigg and a few other young guys that went through there. So um, having a, a guy of Dougie's experience as well certainly will help us, um, particularly when the going gets tough. And as we mentioned, Contesta Ball was out of out of favour in the last quarter, so he certainly um, is a big component of that for us in, in getting that in the right order. Lee, are you confident that your last quarter fade out wasn't about fitness? Oh, I don't. Um, look, we couldn't have got any more work into us over the pre-season. Um, and speaking from, from me personally, before I went down and got injured, I hadn't felt um, as fit as that probably throughout my whole career. So um, I certainly know the rest of the group would have felt in, in similar shape. We've got a lot of work into us. We're pretty much playing you know, number said games of uh, you know two games a week with the sort of GPS data that we're punching out, and I know a lot of the other teams are the same at the moment. It's just the way that you've got to train to get yourself fit to play an AFL game, and um, yeah, we're in we're in great shape at the moment. Oh no, we don't think that at all. I mean, um, you know, we've been we've been lucky enough to run over sides in the end, and you know, we've got a great amount of confidence in our uh, in our running ability. And but we can't we can't afford to have you know you know four or five uh, goal differential at three quarter time all the time. I mean, we want to come out and, and have a great start of the game and, and be able to finish off the game strong and, and be in a in a great position at three quarter time as well. So um, no, we we know that it's uh, it's not always going to happen like that. Uh, you know, we, we need to make sure we start well this weekend. It's going to be it's going to be hot early, but we got we got to come out firing early and um, you know have have a great start to the game. From your memory of how you deal with it last year, those Oh, look, it's it's something we spoke about over the preseason. Well, it's 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 a momentum thing that it happens in games all the time, and um, you know it's. Uh, on the weekend, it was just a momentum shift at the start. Carlton had the momentum early. We were able to get it back in the game, and uh, that's what happens during games of footy. And unfortunately, we've had a, a few early on that haven't gone our way, and we, we keep working on it. But um, you know, that's what happens in games of footy, and it's something we've spoken about as a leadership group as well as the momentum swings. And uh, we'll continue to work on that, and we, we don't think it's a huge issue. But the game last year, how handy is it to have those in the back of the memory when things time? Oh, look, they probably won't be with there too too much in the back of the mind, I don't think. I mean, it's, it's just another game of footy. It's another another season. Um, you know, the sides are a little bit different again. But, uh, look, we don't want to look too too much in the past. But we, we, we've got confidence in our, as I said, in our running ability and our game. And uh, I think Ken spoke a couple of weeks ago that uh, when sides come up against us, they know they're in for a running day. And, and that's the way we're going to go about it. We're going to continue to, you know, our, work on our defensive pressure and, and little things like that. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a competitive game. And... Uh, it's exciting, but you know we, we've got confidence in our ability. Nothing not too in the season, but you wouldn't want to be zipping two or wouldn't have pulled up two. Oh, look, we're um, we're under no illusions. This week we're coming up against you know the Port Adelaide Footy Club, who seem to have you know taken off where they left, la- finished up last year, and um, you know their round one form look, look great. They're sharp. They're running, covering the ground well. So we certainly have to be up to, to our best footy this weekend for four quarters to. Uh, take it up with them so yeah, it's going to be a, a huge challenge but you know as, as has been mentioned the build up to this week playing on Adelaide Oval for the first time the fact that it's a showdown will uh, mean that emotions are running high and there'll uh, be certain you know, um, you know a lot of drive for the boys to get out there and um, respond from last week. Is it more important to win though given the fact you've lost round one a bit more pressure on Adelaide than maybe Port this week given the fact they, they're one zip? Oh we certainly um, you know like to respond after our losses and this week would be no different that's for sure. Chance you could lose Lewis Johnson. Uh, how much of a blow would that be to your forward structure? 
Oh, look, uh, Louis came in last week and played his role really well for us with a few goals, and uh, I mean, it, it would certainly be a blow, but I think, um, if we, we, shut you, we got the, is Louis sorted out his stuff? I think, right. I think he's right, I think he's, he's already been told he's right. So he's Disregard. All sorted. How, yeah. how handy to have him available then, obviously. Yeah, no, good. <laughs> yeah, no, very handy to have uh, Louis, it was great to have him up there as another option. Look, we, uh, we know and we get it in Lewis's hands, he's a really accurate shot on goal and he showed that us on the weekend as well, so the more we can get it in his hands and get some better quality delivery into um, to pods and, uh, and also Eddie Shark around their feet, it's um, going to certainly help them. Jared Polak rejected the chance to play for Adelaide, he chose, chose Port, will that uh, add a bit of extra spice to any contest that he's involved in this week? Oh look, I wouldn't have thought. Um, like he's been in great form. I watched the, the first game, obviously, and he's uh, and throughout the preseason, really, he's been playing some great footy. Um, so, you know, expect him to continue that this weekend. And uh, you know, for us, we've got another a number of young guys too that have, have come in that will have the possibility of playing this weekend after some outstanding summers. And um, yeah, we'll uh, look forward to the contest. I think he might get more target, a bit more on this showdown, but there might be a little bit of an extra edge. The reaction towards Jared? Oh, I don't think there'll be any more than, than any other poor player. I mean, it's always uh, you know pretty feisty out there, so uh, I'm sure he'll get uh, he'll cop a little bit, but along with the, the rest of the guys out there as well. How good's he been for you, boys? Oh, he's been fantastic. I mean, um, you know, we can't, he came over and we we knew he had that running ability, outside ability in his kick, but what he's added is his, his inside stuff, his competitive work, and um, the amount of work he's done with with Walshy over the preseason on that has been huge for us, and just adds another um, you know dimension to the midfield and. To have that inside and outside um, game has been so handy for us. As in Wednesday training, I don't think we're, we're able to train here until Friday. What will either of you be allowed to do here uh, I think we're training here Friday. That's our, that's our first session. I'm not sure what yeah, no, I'm sure. Friday. 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 Trav, just generally, do you feel like you're part of a celebration for the whole state? This one in particular is a bit more than a, than a footy match? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's, the whole Adelaide Oval is going to be fantastic for the city and uh, for us to kick it off, it's, it's, it's huge and it's great to be a part of. I mean, um, you know, it's going to be not only a footy game, but great entertainment for, for this, um, you know, for everyone to come and get involved and, and then to access straight into the city right from, from the game. And, um, you know, it's great we can kick it off. Uh, this weekend. You mentioned the. Um, sorry, you, no, sorry. Uh, <laughs> how, how do you sit with the favourite tag um, going to that? Does that sit well with you? Are we favourites? Yeah. Are we? Uh, look, it doesn't make a difference at all with us. Um, if we're favourites or not, we're not going to change the way we play. Uh, you know, we'll go out and the same way we did against Carlton. Um, you know, make sure we start well and, and just play, play the way we put Adelaide play. You mentioned it might be a bit of a finals like atmosphere. Given the finals last year, with such a young group, do you guys lap that up? Would you try and shut it out? Or? How do you play it? I think you just embrace it. Uh, embrace everything that comes with the week. Uh, it's, I don't think that it'll change too much during the week. The, show, the whole uh, build up for the showdown and everything will be in the, you know, the paper and the, and the news and stuff like that. And you just embrace it, enjoy it, and, and then just go out there and play footy like you normally would. And um, I think that's the best thing to do. Last couple of guys, the ground still this history. Uh, with the wind and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, look, I mean, it'll probably take a little bit of getting used to. We, obviously, we haven't played here before with a new stand, but. Um, you know, hopefully it'll only take a, a couple of minutes and we'll, and we'll sort of adjust and uh, get used to it. Oh, it'll be, uh, it'll be a challenge for both sides. I mean, I guess we're, we're in the same boat. The conditions will be the same for both, both teams. Um, we both have the equal amount of opportunity to train and prepare ourselves out here. So it's, um, it's a level playing field when the ball bounces. And I guess that's the way we've got to look at it. And um, you know, as you mentioned, the, the best side to, or the, the side that can adjust the quickest to not only the, uh, the conditions around the ground, but also the tempo of the match and uh, you know, the skill level, etc., is going to be the side that um, I suppose ultimately gets the jump on the other side. So it's a matter of who can adjust to all those different factors the quickest. Well, I guess we've, um, you know, from that point of view, we've got to put ourselves in winning positions again, which is uh, which we we still did on the weekend, just gone. So, um, as long as we're doing that, I think we're we're showing that we're we're playing the right style of footy. It's just a matter of executing that style of footy for for a full four quarters. I mean, we weren't too far off on the weekend, albeit the score blew out a bit at the end. But um, yeah, it's a matter of us getting that consistency in four quarter effort, and we'll be able to um, be comfortable with where we sit. Pros fan but not a member, 
You can join the club for just $25 for a junior and $50 for an adult membership. Find out more at the ninthman.com.au.